Hi friends and Potterheads. We are in the Goblet of Fire chapter 10 and this is mayhem at the ministry. So there's a lot of chaos going on at the Ministry of Magic and it's a weekend. Mr. Weasley is having to work on weekends again and it's been a long time since that's happened. A lot of stress going on. But one of the things that's happening in this chapter is there is a paragraph that talks about the things that people are doing on this particular rainy day and what we don't recognize at the that point in time is that it's actually a stress management technique. So what we have in this particular weekend is Charlie is sewing, mending a balaclava. We have Harry who is polishing his broom up. We have Hermione who is reading. We have the Weasley twins who are creating um, a new opportunity. They're using their creative juices. These are all stress management techniques. They are doing things that keep their hands, eyes, and mind off of what might be the stressor in their life. It's not that they're not acknowledging that they're stress or that they're not under stress, but when we change the activities that our brain is engaged in, it has a tendency to set off our parasympathetic nervous system, which is the calming part of our nervous system. And when we engage those other parts of our brain, it allows us to create new neural pathways and there are ways to manage our stress. So I want you to look at what are some of the things that you can be doing in your house right now to navigate stress. Are you doing a creative project? Maybe you're sewing or knitting something. Maybe you're reading a favorite book. Harry Potter comes to mind. Um, maybe you are doing an art project, something that is creative. Mind, hand, hand, eye, mind coordinated sorts of activities to change how our brain is functioning, to change the neural networks. I want you to give it a try. When you're stressed, look for a way to bring those hand-eye coordination things into your life and create less stress. Manage those networks. Have a great day and we'll see you next week.